or are you going to stand up and fight for this country? Because they're getting ready for this to destroy the economy. Here's the thing. You get prosperity and security by doing the right thing. But you got to have the courage to do it up front. So I got loaded phone lines, but after I take this bank of callers, every other caller that calls in after this, John, I want to see if it's an active duty police officer or a retired police officer or a wife or husband of a police officer to hear what the climate's like, what you're thinking, what's going on. But I've talked to awesome police. They're fully aware of the muggings, the racially based attacks. And it's just wrong that the media covers this up. Kevin in Florida, you're on the air. Go ahead. Thank you, Alex. Uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts. Uh, how many more of these uh, ridiculous government staged shootings, whether it be white on black or black on white, is it going to take for the sheep that are living in this country to just roll over and give up their guns? Just, I have a sad feeling that that's, that's really the end game because I feel like the people who are totally ignorant and believe anything and everything that MTV and CBS and all those other mainstream propaganda stations tell them true farly outweigh the people who are informed um and i'm just trying to figure out what what you feel about that all right it's a great question i'm going to come back from the break and try to answer that but it's a paradox the globalists are not targeting people they know are awake they're counting on dumbing down the new generations and knowing they'll buy anything they tell them including two plus two equals five you know when the white house came out and said two plus two equals five folks said that's ridiculous to the young people that buy the kool-aid they believe that I mean, they believe political correctness. They believe I just said White House Kool-Aid because I'm racist. That's some code word for black people liking Kool-Aid. No, it's Jim Jones and the Kool-Aid. Put the cyanide in it. That's what Kool-Aid means. So see, the young people can't even communicate because they're all programmed for political correctness going after phantoms. Here's the headline boiling down the latest that we know. Another cop executed in Illinois. Will it be linked to Black Lives Matter and other White House-run racist groups? This is in Fox Lake, and I was just looking at Fox News. They've got the helicopters launching with the paramilitary police hanging out the windows with their 308 Reaper-style uh, assault rifles. And it looks like the same MO as Harris County, Houston, with the execution Friday. And if this continues to be given top coverage, it's going to cause a domino effect. And that's one thing that police were saying last week when the black racist Obama supporter shot the white reporter and the white cameraman. The police started to get it and said, we need to stop reporting on this. It's going to cause a domino effect. And again, I've talked about this a lot, the copycat effect, where for 60, 70 years, when somebody would go jump off the Empire State's building every few months, they would station police there for two or three days because suddenly five or six people a day would show up trying to jump off. They finally just basically put fences up where you can't jump. When somebody jumps off the Golden Gate, suddenly a bunch of people show up. And the truth is you can't stop people from killing themselves. Well, now the media is promoted. Don't just kill yourself. Go kill someone of another race. If you're white, go kill black people. If you're black, go kill white people. It is the, just the most idiotic mindlessness as if you're going to get ahead if you're white if you go shoot nine black people. Or as if you're going to get ahead if you're black, if you go shoot some cop in the back of the head. What you're going to get is 20 years on death row before you get executed. But it turns out the shooter was in a mental institution for a year and was under psychiatric care for the last three years since he got out. Guaranteed he's on drugs, but they're one of the biggest sponsors in media, so you'll never hear it until later. You will never hear. I mean, we know the shooter up in... Uh, Virginia had been seeing psychologists, but we don't know if they were on drugs. Well, now we know this guy was in a mental institution and lived with mommy. And he sat there and guaranteed watched MSNBC, guaranteed got fed all this and just got mad, got a gun and went out, saw a cop and killed him. And all that's going to do is push the police state culture. That's then going to be flipped on the Tea Party and the Liberty Movement. In fact, he was declared mentally incompetent in 2012. 
it's always a mentally ill person or it's gangbanger people on drugs out of their mind. Remember the crackhead guy that tortured the two white 15, 16 year olds to death last year in um, Detroit? Tor took their money and then tortured them to death. Wasn't enough to just kill them, tortured them to death in a vacant house. And then when he got sentenced, he said, Black Lives Matter. Now, would you like to apologize for what you've done before sentencing? Yeah, I'd like to apologize for all the black people getting killed by white people, as if killing two snot-nosed, crackhead white people that I guarantee you worship NWA and you that watch MTV and see you as their daddy. Why would their daddy kill them as they squealed and begged? To them, that's a male father figure that was forged by the CIA and the weaponized media, the gangster rap, to be the father figure in the ghetto. So the young kids would get into drugs so they could be put in prison. Now, does the average cop involved in this? Absolutely not. Are they compartmentalized? Absolutely. Do we need to reach out to them and try to wake them up? Absolutely. But yes, there is a conspiracy against everybody in this country. And because black people were oppressed and downtrodden, undoubtedly, they were always the beta test group. But believe this and know it. In the final equation, it's targeting upper middle class white people. And if the upper middle class on average was black, they'd be targeting you too. The elite doesn't want any independent wealth, period. Period. What did the founder of the Rockefeller dynasty say? He said, competition is a sin. He said it in the New York Times. I'm a monopoly man. And the Rockefellers almost single-handedly funded Hitler with IBM. And then they set Hitler up in his peace treaty with England. <laughs> and they locked up the vice Fuhrer, Rudolf Hess. And they controlled our media, and you never knew Hitler was promised all of Europe, and the King of England was promised to be the King of Europe with a European Union and three super blocks financed by the Rockefellers. And they were going to put in fascist rule here in the United States. They were going to ship blacks back to Africa and everything else. And Prescott Bush was going to head up the banking operation. And then they betrayed all the Nazis and hung them out to dry. Just remember how hardcore the globalists are next time. Remember how diabolical and serious they are. Oh, they got their EU. It just didn't belong to Germany or Hitler. And it's all in the congressional hearings of McCormick Dickstein Committee. It's all on the record is what's incredible. I read this stuff in mainline history books, pieces of it in Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, Shire. Sure. And Heinz Hobel, Order of the Death Said, and the Mind of Adolf Hitler, the Secret Wartime Report, declassified in 1974, the year I was born. I read that when I was like 13 years old. And I guess the reason I know how stuff works is I read books by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. I read books by Zbigny Brzezinski and David Rockefeller. I read books by Adolf Hitler. He wrote two. I read books by the good guys and the bad guys. And the average pseudo-intellectual politico just knows how to bamboozle people and run scams and hobnob into groups to be part of the gravy train. They don't even know how the whole show works. But up at the very, very top, up at the Rothschild, Rockefeller, Sachs, Coburg, Gotha, Transylvanian, Royal Bloodline level, they know exactly what they're doing. And it's why their family's been in control of Europe for a thousand years. Because they got the right stuff. They got the dragon blood. They are the grand dragons. They are the grand wizards. What do you think Albert Pike was telling you when he named the Ku Klux Klan under those designations? You know, those are occult Illuminati designations that predated the Ku Klux Klan. And just like Hitler was a spinoff of the Illuminati, the Ku Klux Klan was a spinoff of the Illuminati. And the New Black Panthers and the Ford Foundation and all these groups work 
to create the dialectic and to create the war and to lead us into war and collapse against each other. It is despicable. After I take a round of calls, if police officers can get in, I didn't think of this at first, or active duty um, military wants to comment, there's a brigade homeland, or the wives or husbands of police officers, what do you think about this climate? As soon as you hear one of these callers hang up, 800-259-9231, 800-259-9231. I'm going to try to move through your calls quickly, so just make your point. Then I'm going to get into the stock market implosion today. The uh, Europe collapsing with the immigrant waves, the military being called out, uh, major trains and, 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 and terminals being shut down all over Europe with the left calling for total open collapse. I mean, this is it. This is this is the new world order is launching on all fronts right now. I'm going to skip this network break to give us more time. The only break today, though, I promise. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Don in Canada. You're on the air, Don. Welcome. Hey, thank you, Alex. Uh, Longtime listener and supporter. Thank you, brother. Um, just wanted to, uh, I'm off topic here, what you're going through, but uh, I know everybody and yourself are on the fence about this Donald Trump guy running for president here. Um, I'd like to maybe see if you would approach this fella and see if he might want to support you in your money bond that's coming up here in uh, next month. Well, I mean, I'm so hardcore that any mainline politician kind of, Treats us with kid gloves, which is great. If, they, if, if, if the establishment liked us, that would be uh, that would kill the broadcast. Uh, I mean, they always think shunning us hurts us. No, that's what we expect because we are the real deal. Trump's actually plugged Infowars and Joe Biggs' report that showed narcotics being shipped in the day he was there in South Texas last month, uh, or I guess the I mean, it was it was early early August, or was it late July? Uh, and so, I'm not on the fence about Trump. I don't trust him at a gut level, but I like what he's saying. And I see the fact that he may actually want to win. And he makes money off a buoyed economy and off services and off real estate. So he doesn't want the bubble to burst or, or he wants to create a new economy. So I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt while warning with provisos. But yeah, uh, I ought to, sure, I ought to reach out to, I mean, listen, the money bomb to raise a million dollars on the 16th. That sounds like a lot to somebody that's, you know, making $50,000 a year, $100,000 a year. For a TV network, TV station, that's uh, not even a tenth of the money it takes to run something like that. And we run it very inexpensively. I mean, Fox News cost hundreds of millions a year to run. Hundreds of millions. CNN, hundreds of millions. Uh, we run this operation for, it's well over $10 million a year. So... That's why I spend so much time selling product, promoting things, you know, trying to do that because we have to fund ourselves so we can be independent. But absolutely, um, you know, the problem is if I got money from Trump, then people would claim that I was beholden to him and that I'd been bought by Trump. Uh, you know, they already say the Koch brothers have bought me when they own the Democrats and Republicans and I attack both parties. I've never gotten a single dime from the Koch brothers. Um so, you know, it's really good that we just support ourselves with the products we sell and the services we have. Um, but if there was no strings attached, uh, I mean, you know, I'd take $10 million from Trump and put it in this operation, have a big effect. But, I mean, I'm not going to hold my breath. I appreciate your call, Don. And, and, no, I knew you were off topic. We're not screening your calls on air. It's one of my pet peeves. Everybody tells you what they want to talk about and then ask if it's okay. Because I know when you call regular radio, you get interrogated for five minutes. We just want to know where you're calling from, what your name is, how you're listening, if you want to tell us. And if you want to volunteer something so we have it on the board, you know, what you're calling about, that's fine. Uh, but just God bless you, sir. It's an interesting idea. Uh, but you don't need to ask permission to cover what you want. And I've said that probably 5,000 times, and it just doesn't seem to work. But that's okay. Uh, let's talk to Charles in Georgia. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Uh, uh, Alex Jones? We appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Uh, want to let want to let you know that I got your uh, I saw your report online uh, that you made for us, and I was just at all. I called Keith, and Keith uh, told me about it, and I was like, "Wow, I can't believe this. We're actually on the news and stuff." And uh, well, for folks that don't you know, you called Sunday because we didn't have a private conversation. Listeners and callers, you know, do with me on air. Why don't you fill folks in? You made a documentary. I thought it was interesting, so I told the crew about it. 
and then they ended up doing a piece on the nightly news because our number one imperative here is to promote other liberty activists that are fighting the new world order to rise up and build up and